jump. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. It may be even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation, assuming it works, of course. Oh, you're a peach, or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. See ya.
Hey there. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn.